In a previous video we saw the different stages of a chemical reaction. At the beginning were the reactants, hydrogen and oxygen molecules. And at the end were the products, water molecules. A chemical equation shows the substances before and after the reaction on either side of an arrow. The reactants to the left and the products to the right. When the numbers of atoms of all types are equal on both sides, we say that the equation is balanced. Here's how you balance a chemical equation. Step 1. Write the words of the reactant and product substances. This is sometimes called a word equation. Step 2. Convert their words into formulas. Hydrogen is H2, oxygen O2, and water H2O. From now on, these can't change. Step 3. Pick an atom type that isn't balanced, such as oxygen, and change a coefficient to fix it. It's got two atoms on the left-hand side, and only one on the right-hand side. Here, a 2 in front of the H2O does it. That doubles the number of oxygen atoms on the right-hand side to 2, because two H2O molecules will contain two oxygen atoms. The oxygen atoms are now balanced. Step 4. Look at the other atom type in the equation and see if it's still balanced, and change a coefficient to fix it. On the left-hand side, the H2 molecule has two hydrogen atoms in it, but on the right-hand side, the two H2O molecules have four hydrogen atoms inside them. We need to put a 2 in front of the H2 to double their number of hydrogen atoms to 4. The hydrogen atoms are now balanced too. Step 5. Repeat for all atom types until the equation is balanced for all of them. There's only hydrogen and oxygen in this reaction, so it's now a balanced equation. Our second reaction is between carbon and oxygen. If we bring in a flame, the oxygen molecule will bust apart into atoms. Oxygen has a valency of 2 and carbon has a valency of 4. This means that bonding a carbon atom to two oxygen atoms will make a complete molecule, carbon dioxide, with no unused bonds left over. Step 1 in balancing the equation is to write the words of the reactants, carbon and oxygen, and the product, carbon dioxide. Step 2 is to convert their words into formulas. Step 3 is to pick an atom that isn't balanced. Hang on, carbon and oxygen are both balanced. There's one carbon on the left-hand side and also one on the right-hand side inside the CO2 molecule. There are two oxygen atoms on the left-hand side in the O2 molecule and two oxygen atoms on the right-hand side inside the CO2 molecule. This is an unusual situation where we don't have to change any of the coefficients in front of the formulas in order to balance it. It's already balanced. The third reaction that we'll look at is between methane and oxygen. A methane molecule is a carbon bonded to four hydrogen atoms, CH4. Like before, the flame breaks the molecules into atoms. What will happen? We've seen that two hydrogen atoms can bond to an oxygen atom to form water. And also that a carbon atom can bond to two oxygen atoms using double bonds to make carbon dioxide. Step 1 in balancing the equation is to write the words for the reactants, methane and oxygen, and for the products, carbon dioxide and water. 
Step 2. Convert the words into formulas. Methane is CH4, oxygen O2, carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O. These can't change from now on. And it helps to know some common formulas off by heart. Step 3. Pick an atom that isn't balanced, like hydrogen, and change a coefficient to fix it. Here's a tip about which type of atom to pick first. Find one that's only in one substance on a particular side, like hydrogen here. On the right hand side, hydrogen is found only in water, but oxygen is found in both water and CO2. So leave the balancing of oxygen till last. Let's go for hydrogen first. On the left hand side, there are four inside the CH4 molecule, and on the right hand side, there are two inside the H2O molecule. A 2 in front of the H2O will increase the number of hydrogen atoms on the right hand side to 4, 2 multiplied by 2. The hydrogen atoms are now balanced. Step 4. Carbon is easy because it's already balanced. There's one carbon atom on both sides. Step 5. The last one is oxygen. On the left hand side there are two atoms in the O2 molecule. On the right hand side there are two inside the two H2O molecules as well as two inside the CO2 molecule. That's a total of four on the right hand side. We can balance them by putting a two in front of the O2 making four on the left hand side as well. Oxygen is now balanced. All atom types are now balanced and so is the equation. When something burns in oxygen, like hydrogen or methane, or even wood, we call it combustion. Combustion is just a fancy word for burning. Combustion reactions always produce heat, so they're useful reactions to cook food, drive cars or keep warm. A molecule that contains only carbon and hydrogen, like methane, is called a hydrocarbon, not surprisingly. When any hydrocarbon burns, the products are normally carbon dioxide and water. Another hydrocarbon is propane. It burns to produce carbon dioxide and water too. Propane's molecule contains three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. So its formula is C3H8. It's a common gas fuel used in barbecues and kitchen stoves, and is often called LPG. Your secret mission, should you choose to accept it, is being typed onto the screen as I speak. You'll find out if you succeed in the next video. This message will self-destruct in 7 seconds.